both Three, of these guys should two, be well matched one. against each Go. other. I love how Martin Komarek has taken to heart also trying to get that axe moving as quickly as possible. Dubitsky moves to the other side of his block just a stroke ahead of Komarek. And Komarek is now doing a great job as Dubitsky finally breaks it open at 1508. Komarek and 1634, two fantastic times from a couple of warriors. Go! Very, very nice start from both of them. Kuhn Martins with a faster downstroke. Is he going to be able to keep that pace? He is in a 995 for Kuhn Martins. Had a bit of an angle on the way up, and uh, it's 1140 for Martin Komarik. Three, two, one, go! Uh, that log is shaking from the huge hits that Puybari is giving it in. Uh, on the other side, Ferry Swan has moved over already. Guibare joining him though, and Ferry Swan is looking good. He's got that one down in a good time. 1627. Puy in 1797. The two other fast times on the day below the 20 mark. Fantastic job by both. Two, one, go. And Ferry Swan opting for a really quick stocky strokes right off the hop. Dubitsky doing the same thing. Dubitsky's got a lot of power, but Ferry Swan is now opening up to the longer strokes. Oh no! He's cut off the cookie too early. That means he's got to go back and cut the remainder of it. And that is disappointment for Ferry Swan because he was looking very, very good, like he was going to win that heat. And Puy Barre has to go back in with the axe just to do some cleaning. And Komarek is already getting his second pocket set. And that one looks like a, uh, I don't know if it was four or five hits there. I, I wasn't quite sure about that because I was paying attention to what Puy Barre was doing. But Komarek is on top with a good angle on his board in a solid position. Oh no, Puy Barre has a little bit of a sag on his board. You can really see that board sagging under his weight. And now he's going to have to use his arms and shoulders more than he would be able to use with his legs in the mix as well. And his hips putting some power into it. And Komarek Komarek definitely has the advantage here. Just no holds barred. Started working that top lock in. Three, two, one, go! All right, an eight, four, six. A lot of hesitation in each of those cuts. That... Three, two, one, go! Oh no! And it happened again! An odd angle cut and the chain came off the saw. It looks like it actually broke out completely. Maybe a different view of it here. We can see what actually happened. Yeah, he got stuck in there, a little bit too much pressure and the chain just broke off. And that was that for Martin Komarek, too bad.